Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, I've been traveling a lot and I'm finally back to the United States. So I'm going to be back making my videos on a weekly basis. And uh, thank you guys for those who voted on my community tab. Um, that's something I'm that I'm going to try to do a lot more is I'm going to give you guys the power to let me know what types of contents you want to see, what topics you're interested in. So I'm going to be posted out of my community tab and I encourage you guys to vote. So thank you guys for those who voted already. All right. So a couple of months ago, I actually made a video on my YouTube channel um, about getting discovered on Instagram. And um, I mentioned a model called Anuk. Um, I believe she's a Sudanese model who got discovered on Instagram, actually. And that actually prompted me to come up with this idea of what types of pictures can you guys take to get discovered as a model. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, so there are four types of pictures that you need to take that will increase your chances of getting discovered, right? So the four types of pictures you need to take, uh, one is a full length body shot. The full length body shot should show you uh, wearing something form fitting. It should show off your long limbs and should kind of like hint at your height um, or even make you look taller than you actually are. So for example, in this picture, this picture is of a model day. Um, she's actually 5'9", I believe. But if you look at this picture thoroughly, she looks like she's at least 5'11 or so. Um, and that's because the picture, you know, it accentuates her long legs and all of that. So it, it uh, feeds into her best features. So make sure you get that full length body shot and make sure that it does make you look taller than you actually are or that it makes you look like your height. The next type of picture you need to take is a portrait length photo. Now a portrait length photo is basically your knees and up, right? So you want to take a portrait length photo that shows your face, shows your whole body, shows you fashionable, very simple, natural, neutral, minimal makeup. If you're a female, pull your hair back, you know, keep the, keep the makeup very clean and neat. Um, that's very important. And that's going to be also important for your next type of shot, which is your close up shots. Uh, so your close up shot, obviously it's just a close up of your face. They want to see your, uh, your structure, your bone structure, your, um, your best features in your face, whether it's your lips, your eyes, your eyebrows, your cheekbones, whatever it is, make sure that it's well lit. Natural lighting, minimal makeup, showing off your best features, that will work nine times out of 10. Now the fourth and final type of photo you need is a profile shot. Now a profile shot usually is directly to the side, um, but in this case, um, it doesn't necessarily work in helping you get discovered because if, uh, if an agent is looking just at your side of your face and that's all they see, they can't really tell what you look like, right? <laughs> so what you need is a half profile. So rather than going all the way, you're kind of like halfway away from the camera. And then what you need to do is just direct your eyes to the camera in your shot. So what you need is a half profile shot and that will complete the four types of images that you need to help you get discovered. Now, here are some very, very important tips. These photos do not have to be professional at all. What's important is that they have to look like they haven't been retouched. So if you go out and you hire a photographer or you do a professional shoot, um, agents are just going to overlook that most of the time because it looks like um, you could have been retouched. They don't really know what you look like. How much retouching was done? You know, did they make your features more, more pronounced or whatever? So that's very important that they look very natural, clean. It has to look like it was taken from a cell phone or just taken on a Polaroid. Um, hence why agents usually ask for Polaroids because they know that those can't be retouched, you know? So um, that's very important to make sure that if you do take those pictures professionally, make sure that the retouching is very, very minimal where it looks like almost nothing was done. Another tip to mention is to make sure you're wearing form-fitting clothes. Very simple basics, uh, t-shirts, tank tops, jeans, boots, sneakers, form-fitting, very form-fitting, nothing, no layers, none of that. So like if you look at the picture uh, on Instagram that got Anuk discovered, you can see she's wearing something very form-fitting and basic and simple, you know? Um, so that's very important. The last tip I'll give you guys is to pay attention to the lighting. So the lighting should be very natural. It's best if you can get daylight. If not, you can try to get in some flash, but just don't make it too moody. 
Uh, you wanna make sure that your features are lit properly. Um, know what your best assets are as a model and work those assets. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. Um, if you have any feedback that you'd like to add, drop it in the comments below. Um, if you have more questions or something that I didn't answer in this video, definitely hit me up in the comments. I respond to all of my comments. I try to respond to all comments, but sometimes it just gets too crazy. But um, drop me a comment and I'll definitely try to engage with you as much as possible. So um, I'll see you guys next week. Uh, stay tuned, keep watching my videos and I appreciate the love, I appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much.